Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. This is the wonderful Matt Knight. It is Matt Hello. McKnight. <laughs> um, so, well, yeah. we, we, we joined it. We've got a, we've got a new colleague here. Um, we need a name for this colleague. We do. Don't, I mean, it's 3DO. Uh, 3DO! 3DO! Uh, yeah, we've got a colleague here um, because Matt is here to show us an exciting new product from Boss, which might be tricky to, to demo. So we, so, oh, I so don't we go. think it's going to be tricky to demo what is it? at I think, all. I think we're going to have to judge on some reactions. Okay, I a reaction video. We also need to say, neither of us have seen these or tried them. We have literally no concept of what this is. So I just hope that they, uh, they work and you enjoy it, basically. Yeah. Right, so what we've got is this pair of ears, uh, which might give it away, I guess. Uh, the first wireless personal amplification system is what we're calling it. And how far up does it need to go before you... <laughs> wireless, <laughs> wireless personal amplification <laughs> system, <clears throat> okay. So what we have is the Boss Wireless Air. Oh, I like the vintage styling. So uh, do I. I thought it might be like Sony Walkman spongy, you know, oh, stuff. That looks great. Oh, feel the... I mean, faux leather, presumably, but they, they're nice. Oh man, they've actually made they're some nice, nice Check uh, them out. So, heading, heading phones. They look good. Uh, yeah, I've got to say, they've, you have absolutely bossed the visual on those headphones. Yeah, so these are a completely wireless guitar amp system. Right. In a pair of headphones. For your, uh, for, only for you. Yeah, so if you imagine, you know, you can't, I mean, I live in a small flat in London or you've got family or kids and you can't play up loud. This is designed to kind of allow you to actually have an enjoyable experience playing guitar. To be fair, that's cheaper than having so, to find a place with a studio attached. And then... So you don't have your, you don't plug your guitar amp into <clears> this. <throat> these, no, these, these literally are <clears throat> the amp in the, the headphone. Amp. Exactly. But what makes them really unique is that obviously when you plug a pair of headphones into a PC or a phone, if you're using an app, but it kind of sounds pretty undynamic. It's pretty flat in the ears, yeah. right? You get a, a pretty decent sound, but it's not the same as playing an amp mm. in a room. So one thing that you want is to feel that the air coming at you. You almost want to feel like you're in a space. Okay. Right? Great. And that. that's what this does. So these actually have something that we've built in called gyro ambience using a sensor gyro in here. Ambience. It's my so, favorite style of music. <laughs> is this going to be like a black mirror moment when I put them on and then suddenly I'm lost for the for eternity? You need your way. VR goggles it, on it, the yeah. front it, as well. It could well be. <laughs> we should have put you that we should have put the blindfold on actually. Okay. Because, because I mean it's, it's fair to say that headphone amps are not a new thing. I mean, no, yeah. but what this does is it actually places the amp in a virtual space. So <gasps> it moves it away from just the ears and then you can position that what? In any way that you want. It's a virtual reality amplifier. I guess you could call it that in some way. I mean, I'm intrigued because I mean, this is quite pertinent for me and guys who follow me or people who follow me on, on my <coughs> Facebook and Insta pages will know that... Insta pages. Insta pages. Will know that um, <laughs> I had a, a, a Line 6 a Helix to. and a Kemper that I took home for a few nights each. And just because the headphone experience was so... Um, unrealistic is that the right word because it's it's literally like you, you you don't really appreciate until you put headphones on that what you're actually hearing with a guitar amplifier when you play right. it in a room is this massive sound yeah. created by yeah, the yeah. space yeah. and when you put headphones on it's literally like sticking your head in between two speaker cabs and it's just very unrealistic yeah so i ditched all that and went off and used a little uh, yamaha thr amplifier instead i know i should have used a katana Ray, i'm sorry <laughs> about that. but um uh but i so i'm kind of intrigued to know whether or not this solves that unrealistic i am experience. absolutely excited to try yeah so on. what Obviously, they're pretty noise cancelling as well. So when I'm talking to you, you're probably not going to be able to hear what I'm going to say. Oh, so what God. I want you to do is have a little bit of a play, take All them right. off, and then I'll show you the <clears> control. And they're wireless. And it's wireless as well. So you can dock the how's this little bug. How's this running then? Just normal batteries? or Runs on lithium-ion batteries that you can recharge. So All full right. charge, you get a, around five hours on the headphones. So I can fly to America at the NAMM show and have be these on shredding on And those. play guitar on the plane. In first class. 11 hours. Wow. So <laughs> first swipe that in. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I'm hoping we're going to have guitar right. sounds straight so out. This is a out. genuine, genuine first reaction ever. And just turn it up for Rob. me, make sure they get the sound out. I cool. So it. I've set a pretty clean sound. Oh, right? Matt, come on, man. Yeah, no, and then a... you can adjust it on the app. So that's your volume control for your guitar. Right. right? So you can roll up the volume here. Yeah. 
These are for changing patches up and down. I but suddenly don't... feel like an old person <laughs> learning about something new. Don't touch the buttons yet. <clears throat> okay. And don't touch this. But if you want don't, to turn the guitar Don't touch up, things. Don't touch things yet. All right. Okay. Wow. So we'll just set up a pretty clean and you're, sound. You're screen recording your I'm screen recording iPhone. this as well. Where, where is the amp? I can't so see it. The, is there a head up display? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Right. So it's just your clean sound. Yeah. Right, so if you want to change your crunch or your lead sound. Wow. Right. Okay, so yeah, give him a lead sound. Yeah, so lead sound, bit of gain, volume, and then you've got all your effects on here as well. So derived from the mm -hmm. guitar series, boost, modulation, delay, reverb. Happy sound? Yeah, I can I can hear it. So the amp is quite is like yeah, yeah. quite so just take the headphones off for a sec. Okay, so what when you play now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the first mode. That's surround mode. <sighs> okay. So now it will move the amp into this space, but I can physically move it around your headspace. So like, like the stereo in my car, where you can move it on the... Yeah, so yeah. what you'll hear is the amp in front of you. Right. And then I'm going to move it behind This you. is incredible. <laughs> so okay, okay. If, if people are watching this iPhone recording, off means it's working like totally just a, normal Just a headphones. normal pair of headphones, right? I right? Okay. So I'll put it into surround mode. Whoa! So you're moving the so guitar So I'm literally around. moving the guitar amp. So what did you do? Moved it from in front of him to behind yeah. him? Yeah, so obviously when you're playing at home, you're playing with the guitar amp yeah. in front of you. But when you actually want to play live, you're, or rehearsing, you're playing it behind yeah. you. So you can physically move that position between ears as well. Can... <laughs> wow. But can you turn off the reverb? So I, so I hear a room. Yeah, so you, we can turn off the <laughs> reverb on the amp sound here. And then you can also turn off the ambience down as well. So the ambience controls how big the room is. Hell, man. Right, that's now, so, now take them off. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Right. So now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the next mode. That's static mode. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to put the amp in front of you. Right. But your head will fully control oh, which geez. position you hear it. Oh, no. oh, come on. I need to see <clears throat> this. So you can see here on the guitar position. Yeah. And are these, these, can you guarantee that these headphones are noise cancelling so I can say anything I like about Rob while he's playing? <laughs> I can see your lips moving and I can hear something, but I heard my name and that was about it. Okay. So yeah, play, place the amp. So it's in front, so you can see now. So you can see as it moves, it's move. It, oh, the, yeah, the, the, the position's the always in front, but it's your head that's determining which direction you hear it. it so it's it is very effective <laughs> in, in in tricking you to feeling like there's an amp physically there. There's a tiny amount of of um like lag of positional lag that you that you can sense. But if you just sat. It also sounds like it's higher than it would normally be. Like, but I'm wondering if I... Yeah, so it's interesting because although it's in the same position, you don't get the difference in the cone tone when you go higher. Mm. So it's like, it's like the amp is in front of my face. Yeah. But, but stays where it is but when stays, I'm putting it on. stays static. Yeah. So that's a physical control that you can change. And you can, again, you can change the ambience. So the more I turn up the ambience, the bigger the space gets. And then you can change that from a stage to a studio as well. And that will change the kind of the feel of the, the room as well. Could you, uh, they're not gonna hear any of this, but can I have a British crunch and like hardly any ambience yeah, at all? Yeah, so you can basically, we can go crunch. Can you replicate playing on like a really sh pub with you, <laughs> like, any, like maybe two well, people in the audience it, or something it's all like in, that it's just it's making that head. realistic experience exactly because it's all in your head you can do yeah. what you want um so you can set it how you want so it's just touch screen so bass middle treble i don't want that much mid what am i but you could effectively dial it in similar to how you dial in mm -hmm. a katana basically bloody hell that is it's won the game. But that, that, whoa, 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 that's not. But everything. That's not all. That's You're just ninety nine, ninety three, ninety two. You also <laughs> get an actual amp. So obviously the last thing is if you want to play, you obviously want to play with a backing track mm -hmm. or a band. But when you play with a backing track, you're always playing on top of the track. You're never playing 
with the track, right? So what if we could place the band in a virtual space alongside the guitar playing? Everything is behind you, like you're playing on the stage. Am I in a virtual space as well? So then? you'll also be in the virtual space, so... Have you got a virtual wedge monitor that Rob could put his foot on like that? Yeah. Just to get at, at full... <coughs> so if I load up the old Anton's backing tracks ah, here... of course! Let's put the headphones on here. This is a world first, people. We have this um, binaural microphone set, which we're kind of hoping will replicate a set of human ears. But if I'm totally honest with you, we've never done this before, so who knows? Uh, the headphones are now positioned over the ears. This part of the demo will only really work if you're wearing headphones as well. Well, no, they yeah. can just get their iPhone, just hold it really close to your forehead. <laughs> like and just like make um, sure that you angle each side. So, and I think as well, like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll push the point as we saw in Rob's reaction. It's like the, the hearing of them is really believable because when it's in yeah. that headspace, oh, yeah. it's so un and, unbelievably crazy. Yeah, and I'm holding the stand because I'm, what I'm going to try and do is twist it like this so that you, you hopefully get the effect. Up. But... There is a tiny bit of handling noise, like as I'm, you know, but I'll, you'll just have to try and I'll, I'll try and keep it. the handling noise to a minimum. But obviously, you won't get that when you're wearing these on your head. So let's go then. So Matt. why don't I play the track first, and I'll show you a bit of the ambience level. But and also just to let the audience know that we're hearing it through speakers in the room. Yeah. So, that, so if you're wondering how I know what to play, it's yes. because of that. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, start the track. <laughs> I dial the ambience a little bit. And then put it back up. Said, uh, or as we all said, we have absolutely no idea whether this style of demonstration has helped you appreciate right, Lee, what this is doing or you, not. You've Can got I listen to, now? You've got to try yeah. one, man. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple other bits with the headphones real quick, if that's all right. Let's put the ears uh, down somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what to do. But can you, you can mute the... Hey, hey, Lee, can you hear me? Is that... I know, but they're coming through <laughs> the speakers still. <laughs> okay, so basically kind of same thing that you saw Rob doing at the beginning. Let's see so I'll, it... start, I'll start with it off. And then we'll dial in your amp sound, okay. and then we'll turn it on. Yeah. All right. So you can fully adjust it however you want. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's still uh, got that sense. It's actually, you know what? It's not. It doesn't feel quite as in your ear as it did when I was using Helix with yeah. normal headphones. But it's still. It's still off. Oh, it's <laughs> off. Okay, fine. Right, okay. So now, ready. <laughs> so now it's directly in front of him. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> apart from, literally apart from, I don't know how long I particularly want to wear headphones, you know, like the, just the, that, that enclosed sense and the heat that builds up in your ear. Tonally, it is utterly different to wearing headphones normally. Yeah. So the big thing is, is the drivers are custom designed and the ear pads are custom designed. So it's really built to not only give you a good audio experience, like Bluetooth, 
audio, but also a good guitar playing experience. It's a katana on your head, isn't it? It's a virtual katana. You know what's interesting is, without the surround technology, his Sorry. face, <laughs> without the surround technology, when you first hear it, it's like, this is like the best version of a, of a headphone zap you've yeah. ever heard. And then when it's placed in the space, it's a whole new world. Yeah. So let's do that. So, so this is the static mode. So the amp's always in front of you. Okay, so the amp's here, right? The amp's there, yeah. I've got way more in this ear. Ah, so it's always going to be in the front, so you need to face dead on, and you'll see there. Oh, I see. <laughs> Stay on target. Oh, it, it's a bit more, it's slightly unrealistic in the sense that it's almost like you're outside. And it's like, so there's the amp. And as soon as you go like there, like if you're in a real room, I don't think you'd hear that much difference. But in the headphones, as soon as you go there, it's like it's quite... We can, we can turn down that, that oh, ambience okay. as well. And we can change the space as well. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, so, right, it gets so much better. So, okay, okay. I'm going to play you the backing track okay. now, all right? Put the band behind him. So put his app behind him as well. We'll go. We'll go A minor. This one. All right. It's the most interesting demo ever. Wins. <laughs> now it's just, just watching someone's amazing. reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's so satisfying because oh, it's the experience of being so, on stage yeah so you can change that that ambience that stage Bonkers. side so if I turn it up to max yeah. don't play anything just listen okay, to okay, the track okay, and okay, listen okay. for the drums and, in the background and then if I turn it down and now I'm going to turn it off <laughs> you know what's weird actually if you were to, when you're listening to a backing track, say you're listening to, you know, your music on your phone, like a recorded album, mm -hmm. off, that, that actually is what you would normally hear. Exactly. So off, like with a backing track context, doesn't sound worse. It sounds like how you would expect it yeah. to sound. It's only really the guitar that sounds bad with it off. So it's, you could use these as headphones. If you yeah, really yeah, you can to, stream yeah. Bluetooth audio to them. And actually there's Bluetooth transport controls on there as well. Uh, which I think I can oh, you show know, you. Start, stop. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can demonstrate them with off so I can talk. So um, if we're on Spotify, you can click the button in and it will play the track. Evil Spotify. And pull the track. Oh, yeah. But say if you want to go back, so you, you, you missed a bit in the track and you want to rewind the track, you can... Uh, oh, you've got like a rewind? Yeah. Re? So re I'll show you well, here. So, say bolt select. so if I hold the button forward and tip them forward, you can see it fast forwards the track. Huh? Oh no way! Oh, I see. Not yeah, yeah. Not, <laughs> not by tipping sense. the things. Just no, by no, no, no. By tipping the headphones. So you could literally they got, do that. Yeah, you yeah, this? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what if you headbang with these? Te oh my god! It works. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got literally. Can you imagine if I was watching you in a room, you're just going like this? <laughs> So yeah, you can rewind, <laughs> fast forward, play and pause all from the headphones by doing different Can you turn that off? Because like, if you really get into it, it's, it's, move, oh, you, it's, the track will be going. It only works when you press, press the button ridiculous. in. ridiculous. So then uh, on top of that, you can obviously use the, um, the editor if I just go back to it here. Yeah. So there's actually a librarian, so you can save all your own sounds in and then scroll through with the two buttons. So if you can have up to six sounds saved into the headphones and scroll yeah. through them. And that can have any level of ambience or, <coughs> how or many, setting uh, that you how want. How many watts is it? Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's actually... If can, I, can I get a projection out and then plug it into now a just, just, just to be utterly clear again, there's no line input on... Well, you, so there's that... How are you... So the, the, the wireless receiver is built in. So, the so what's receiver, that for? This is just for comparing the... Um, the transmitter to right, the receiver. Right. Okay. Built so you, there's no sense that you can put a jack cable in here. Or no, there's no line out or anything. It's totally just a totally personal. So, but when you buy the it? headphones, do you get the wireless? You get the wireless but adapter. But what, what with I it mean well. was, if you had a uh, anything really, a, a guitar amplifier or a or a Kemp or whatever, and you plugged this oh. into some form of line out and then into their wood. Does Although it, we haven't tried it, there's nothing to stop you right. putting it at the end of your pedal board let's if try you wanted it now. to. Should we just literally let's see just if it's it right conceivable? Because I just want to know, yeah, okay, sure. so let's so. 
That's exciting. Lee, that was great out of the box thinking. Let's hack this. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I was even thinking again, if so, but it was more. Let's say I had an alternative. Let's say I had a GT1000 or something like mm. that. And I just wanted to apply. Plug the it into the clean channel of this countenance. No, there's always. You can't turn the amp modeling off. Off, right. But okay. there is a flat mode for bass or acoustic. So if you want to use it, we actually tried it with a modular synth. So we plugged it into the output of a synthesizer and then it mm. did the same thing and you could turn around. Or if you want to do keyboards or a piano as well, yeah, yeah. it works totally fine. Presumably, you, so always, just, you um, always have that slight problem with this. You'll always need the wires uh, in there as well. No, but then this switches itself off if it doesn't. Only move, if it, it stops moving. Yeah, yeah, so you've always got but to you try get, and be you aware get, of it. I think you get around um, 60 minutes. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Before it, before, before the it off down. thing yeah. kicks in. Oh, and you I, get 12 hours worth. I thought it was way, way less than that. So I plugged my pedal board in. I've obviously used a cable to plug into my pedal board, but I could conceivably buy a second wireless system uh, <laughs> if I wanted to. And then right at the end where the cable would normally come out and go into the amp is the uh, transmitter for the headphones. So. Let's have a so little I've listen. So I've turned everything off. So I've turned the, the ambience off. I've set the amp to flat. So it's just a clean amp. So it's sound. clean amp with a bit no. of reverb, maybe. Yeah, we can add a bit of reverb. <laughs> <laughs> Lee's hacked it. <laughs> I love this. So I can I can still then turn on the static mode, turn down the ambience of the room. Oh man, it's literally the same as plugging into an amp. Oh, I'm desperate to hear this. <laughs> I, I've got, I've got oh it. man, alive, right. So, so, Rob, get a clean sound. I've got a clean sound. Are you ready? I'm ready. Plimsoll coming in. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Bit of delay from the pedal board. Oh, it's not on. Bit of delay. And it's in the static mode, so you can move your head. Yeah, that's a tremendous amount of um, of being able to hack the system and make it even more amazing. I, I, I've got to say, you know, totally. So, I'm gonna, this, is my, this is like my first reaction, total honest, everything. First and foremost, I think they're beautifully made, and they fit. They do feel really comfy to wear, and that that's always been my. You know, uncomfortable headphones are a, a terrible thing yeah. in themselves. Um, as in its flat mode for a backing track, it just sounds like a great pair of headphones. I I love, as soon as you put it into any of the surroundy yeah, modes, yeah. Mm. I love the way that it gives you the sense that you are in the room. I'm not massively... Uh, as you move your head around, all I'm really hearing is it's changing the, the, the accent on the volume to the left or the right mm. ear. It doesn't necessarily feel utterly natural. You know, mm. you, I can see what's sort of happening. So I'm not sure how much I would use that, but but I would a million percent just leave this in the... I love the idea of the band being behind yeah. you and just playing. I, I think, think that's, that's wicked. The backing track thing for me is the real killer part of it because... So often, a bat, you're playing on top of a track, you're not playing with a track. And this yeah. really allows you to sit in the mix. I think you've described that perfectly, Matt, because it, it made me feel like I was playing better because I felt like I was in a band. Yeah. The experience of being in a band is what that delivers. Yeah, and you know, if you really want to turn around during the solo or whatever, or get your laptop up and have a visual of Wembley Stadium and play in front of a stadium, you can really get that feel that you're playing in, in front of an audience. Is that just volume, is it? So yeah, so you've got guitar volume, up and down for your patches. And and show them the pads, show them the pads. And then, yeah, the pads are also um, magnetic as well. What do you just, mean? Just so you, if you... Oh, I see. For cleaning comfort, you can just take them off. Oh, yeah. So a we'll custom 50mm we'll driver um, built into that as well. So again, it's, it's a big driver, isn't it? Yeah, it's really designed for that balance mm. of guitar playing and, you know, instrument and audio at the same time. Because if you're playing to an MP3 normally, you are just listening through a pair of audio headphones. Yeah. And this is something, a, a totally different experience. Is there any way of getting the sound from these headphones out of the headphones? Only if you use something like we tested today. Um, oh, I see what on here. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then really... out. But I think the thing is, they're great for, you know, um, a playing at home or even yeah. like backstage or tour bus. Yeah, yeah. You know, rather than having, you know, 
maybe just can't have a you know something like a katana air blasting out a little bit of sound you need it to be oh, no, totally I can, enclosed i can totally hear a million applications yeah. for these they're really really good you've got to try them pete do you want to have a little yeah come and Jimmy have a play. peter honori is now going to demonstrate for you the beautiful sounds of these boss headphones i hope you enjoy them <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to hear it totally clean, mm -hmm. right? So dial in your amp sound, and then I'll turn, I'll turn it on. Okay. All right. Right. It's such a pleasing experience. There's something to be said to watching someone else's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> so stick, stick one of Pete's backing tracks on. Right, okay. That's where he'll dig it big time. So now you can move your head. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's go for the uh, let's go for the backing track then. So, let's, let's the backing track then. We'll go for the Mary one. So now it's normal headphones, yeah? No. So now... Put them in the band, yeah, so the band's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so I can turn up the ambience level. Can you, can you, is there a bit in the app where you can get the crowd to clap? <laughs> you just have to build that into the backing track. <laughs> have a button clap. I love you, Pete. <laughs> it's weird, man. It's giving flashbacks of being on stage with all those big bands. It's what it is. And then, yeah, we can move it to the studio. Dial the ambience back a bit. The yeah, amber's there now. Oh, this way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over there, the amp sounds like it's over there. Yeah, yeah. Everything seems like it's there for yeah. me. So, so what you can do... Don't you love how when anyone's got headphones on, they start talking? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The amber's over there. Now. I'm down there now. So if you... Um, if <laughs> you... Yeah, I'm over there! <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually reposition the amp there's okay. two buttons on the side of the headphones. <coughs> you click them both in at the same time, it'll actually position the amp back behind you. There you go. So you can pick your front. Oh, so when you do. That's ah. crazy. Oh, it, it behind you is wherever you're facing as you press them. Exactly, yeah. Right. Uh. See. So you have to be like. Have oh. we mentioned in this video yet no. how much you think they're going to cost? Uh, the RRP price is 429 euro. Euros. So probably under 400 pounds in yeah. the UK. So not, yeah. not cheap headphones, are they? But they're actually, as far as headphones go, not expensive either. No, I and I mean, like... the fact that you can listen to them audio, they're totally mm. wireless. And I mean, there is no one that is doing anything similar. And the fact that everything's built into the headphones, it's mm. not the app that's doing it, it's the headphones that are, that are doing all the processing. He's gone. He's, he's, he's loving guy it. Is... And well, then uh, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> how, how much is Katana Air? That's about 300, isn't it? Uh, I, th I think roughly RRP price is about the same. Wow, well, so potentially, because that's been massively popular, all those THR amps have been massively popular, so relatively speaking, it's the same dough, mm. just a choice now as to whether or not you want to go Show physical or amp keep or yeah. keep it in the headphones. Yeah. And the thing is, you can fold them down, you can put them in a gig bag, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put them back in the, in the, in, on the stage, we're at maximum ambience. You can share my lapel mic, Robert. <laughs> no, I was going to use this ear. I thought that was a, <laughs> a, a more appropriate thing to do. I think these are really, really I good. I think he's totally really I can do that all day long. Yeah, yeah, I can really do it all good, day right? long. He will. Can I move a crunch? Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, well, I hope, these, I hope these worked well for you guys when you were listening, but I suspect the only way you can really do this is to try a pair yourself or, you know, take our word for it. It's pretty cool. It's the best, best, best headphone experience I've ever had. A hundred percent, and I was, I was totally the same. The first time I had someone walk me through them, mm -hmm. I just got lost for like 20 minutes, yeah. playing to backing tracks, going, it doesn't, never sounds like yeah. that when you're playing to a backing I track. I guess you're gonna need the app to, to be able to try them. 
Yeah, you, you can actually use it without the app because everything's done in the headphones. So there is some sounds already in the headphones. So if you come into the store, you can see. But, but the app's go, free. Wow. The app's free. The app's right? free, and yeah, you can and download. It's Android and iOS. Yeah, there will be an Android version as well. And we yeah. all get a pair. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah, that's great, man. I've got to be honest with you, man. I did it all day long. Sounds good. The guitar sounds are really are good. You are you taking these away with you? Yeah, I need to take them away with okay, me. Well, well, I'm just going to buy a pair and just see, because I think in the room, for you, for whenever you guys go, what does it sound like in the room? And we try and concoct this idea of a, some mics over here and up here and stuff. It never. Whereas I'm thinking, if that's just there, and that's what that's what I'm hearing, isn't it? Well, yeah, if I put my head here, make sure you give it John Mayer's face and a nice <laughs> Absolutely, and, uh, John um, Mayer's lips. When is and and seriously, man, you need to team up with a virtual reality company as well. Because can you imagine oh, yeah. the immersive yeah. experience of then? Well, the why band don't we why don't we get a pair being of your, on stage? Uh, your get a and on. captain goggles, oh, yeah, and then we'll just cut a little audience out. <laughs> 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 Mega low budget, basically, it doesn't move. Or, or it's like all it is a is basically it, there's like a slightly longer printout that sticks out, and you just basically it. move it like that. As you <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got seriously, if, a, if somebody who works for a VR company is um, watching this, 100% do something that works. That can you imagine being able to download backing tracks where you turn round and there is like your favourite band playing behind yeah. you, and you're the guitar player? I think you know ah, you'd win. I think the world that's how you get forever. lost in them. That's just how you get lost in them. Well, there that's we are. Like, there we go. That oh. was great. That was a long video. Apologies, but this is great. There you go. I and in, like, and in like stock in time for Christmas. Sorry, I was Rob. about to like do a round of applause. Then I was oh, just like, thanks. But uh, yes. So literally in stock. Links below. <laughs> go to Anderton. Tappy tappy. Credit card information and start having your fun on these headphones. Literally tomorrow. Put them on and ignore everything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are they? Did you it's say they are, are they wife cancelling? <laughs> 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 Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, right, I've been the captain. The jumpers. I've been Matt. Danis. Pete. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we can't. My dog, the ambience looks bad. Back up.